but maybe I'm wrong. Todd Schoenenberger is here with us, as he is on a most Thursdays, managing principal of the Black Bay Group. What's your thoughts on earnings season? Weak. Weak at best, really. Yeah. Well, remember, the revisions were, um, were actually lowered quite a bit. So you're having yep. companies right now that are beating revised earnings guidance and from Wall Street, uh, Wall Street analysts. So when you, so realistically, I mean, Alcoa is a great example. Alcoa missed, and it was originally 33 cents, dropped down to 24 cents, and they were in the teens, and they continued to miss. So you're not, you have companies right now that, yes, they might beat. But these are very, very low. These are low ball numbers. That Before are I ask you, we talk about Amazon. Do you think that the reason these companies are missing is the global slowdown? Like this, no, I mean, Europe, right? It, all this is affected by these big multinationals. That's going to hurt the bottom line. Yeah, you're right, Tracy. Look, in this country, personal spending is up only three tenths of one percent year over year. The post-1960 average is three point three percent. Consumers are not spending. If they're not spending, therefore, that's going to hurt the bottom line of companies. And it's also those companies like an Intel, where you might have a lot of business relationships that are there. Businesses are not spending either. So yes, everybody is taking a hit. Amazon was an interesting story today, wasn't it? Yes. So they make a bet that they can spend all this inter. And basically beef up their expenses, beef up their tech, beef up their data structure, all that kind of stuff, and cut out any kind of um, profit on the Kindle Fire, Yeah. all in an effort to compete with Apple. Is that the right strategy? I'm not so sure. Remember, they, they really need to stick to what, what, really has started, what really started Amazon and what really made them great. And that was actually just something as simple as selling books. Right. And they offer the free shipping, $25 or over, which is a nice uh, perk. But they, their widest margins are on those products. Here they're trying to get fancy with the Kindle Fire. They're trying to compete in a big boys game against Apple, which is not a good idea. Because remember, Amazon, as far as distribution goes, it's solely online. Whereas Apple has stores. They're out in the open. They're in the malls, obviously. That's a different aspect. So you're really taking a 21st century business model and trying to compete on, with another 21st century business model, but it also has those brick and mortar stores. Not a good idea. Margins are flattening all around, though, and yeah. we knew this was going to happen eventually, right? And the margins basically is the amount of profit that these companies make on the products they sell. That's right. Right? So, but we hear from Ford, commodity costs are going up. We know that um, input costs are going up, and a lot of companies are sucking it up so that they don't have to pass it on to the consumer. But eventually, this has to, this has to be passed on, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Look. You can't, it, it's just like uh, cereal companies. Here's a great example. Cereal year over year and bakery goods are up 1.5% uh, just in the, in the last month. So and you, you take that from an annualized basis, clearly you're in double-digit territory. The difference, though, is that the companies, the cereal companies, are not passing that cost onto the consumers. They're taking those hits right. to the bottom line. That hurts shareholder value, which they have a fiduciary responsibility to the shareholders. They have to keep that in mind. But they have all said they will have to start passing that cost on to the consumers because they were hoping inflation would have started to move lower. But it's not right now. I mean, based on the, the CPI right. data we just received last week. So now you have to start thinking uh, going forward, these extra costs are going to be added to the consumer. And that's something they need to be prepared Before for. Before we get to you.